I'm Mike Dahl-Smith. Uh, I'm a microbiologist. I won't give my details, but I'll talk to you about microbiology as a subject. It's uh, common in many of the, the courses that you do. I'll give you a list later on, so you'll probably re remember it. But you know, just to put you in a perspective here, a, this is a, a film, a Hollywood film, which is all drama and very little fact, as you all know. But of course, you've got the real world, and we've got real dramas like Ebola going around the world. There's uh, you know, very little protection against these sorts of diseases that break out in difficult parts of the world. And you know, you've got to deal with them. So there's, there's many other examples, but that's a, a common one uh, in the news. And if you go to Africa, you'd see it for real, but be careful. So microbiology, the name micro, comes from the fact that you need uh, some magnification to see the cells. It's a science of uh, microscopic organisms. It covers a number of different taxonomic groups. So here's some students with a microscope, optical microscope. And they're looking at some bacteria under the microscope. And there's a, a picture there of some nice, uh, uh, nice rod-shaped bacteria there. Uh, these are some of our students. Good. And they might see something, if you enlarge it up, a whole collection of different sorts of bacteria. These are stained. They're not normally these colors, but it makes them stand out quite well. So there's uh, very many different types of bacteria. And that's only one of the categories of microorganisms. So you might have heard about bacteria, you've heard about viruses, but it also encompasses fungi and uh, protozoa. But we deal mainly here with the, the top three, bacteria, viruses, and fungi. And you might be able to think of some diseases or problems or something to do with these organisms. So where do they come in? So if you're looking for careers, futures, directions, where it would fit into your what you imagine you might be doing. There's a whole lot of diagnostic services. There's about four or five pathology laboratories. When you go and when you get sick here, you'll probably get a blood specimen or something else. It'll go to one of the path labs here. Uh, if it's a bacterial infection or a fungal infection, they'll take scrapings or uh, samples, and that'll go to a, a microbiologist in a laboratory that will be looking at that specimen, trying to grow the organisms and identify them, get a name to it, and then they'll be able to say, OK, they've got this sort of infection fungal or bacterial infection will treat with this sort of antibiotic. So it makes a big difference. You can then transfer that to VET because you've got all these diseases for animals. You can transfer it to AG because you've got all these number of diseases of various um, agriculturally important plants. So it covers the whole spectrum. I'm not sure who gets paid more. You'll have to find that out. <laughs> uh, public health. So all of the, the state, uh, state departments um, in hospitals, you've got infection control people, especially there, to try and make sure that things in one ward don't get across and contaminate people in another ward. That's the last thing you want to do when you go to hospital, get some other infection or some other problem that you didn't want. Uh, the, the food industry, we're very fortunate here that we've got such strict food regulations and there's jobs. Every food manufacturer has to have a microbiologist or they have to send it to a micro lab. On top of that, if you're fermenting something like yogurt, uh, then you're growing organisms and you need a, a competent microbiologist to deal with this. So there's, if you think of the number of food companies in Australia, we're one of the larger producers and exporters of food, tons of jobs right through. You see them in the papers every day. Uh, all sorts of jobs in uh, agriculture. If you buy seeds now, they're often coated with microorganisms to make them uh, grow faster in the soil, things that uh, help take up the nitrogen and so forth. Uh, all sorts of regulatory bodies, and that this covers the whole range. Uh, government advisory bodies, be council advisory pe people involved, all the way up. And I can tell you now, the most um, lucrative one would be the end one if you're a consultant in some of the large companies um, doing, say, some study of uh, a disaster in a company, a food, man uh, food manufacturing company or a mining company, and they have to pay for the experts to come in and make a considered judgment. Uh, if you can get into one of those companies, you're doing very well. Uh, so environmental microbiology, all the big mining companies in Western Australia, they all have to have an environmental impact statement. They have to employ an environmental person to monitor that everything is going according to plan. So they've all got jobs there. Uh, it's a bit remote out there, but if you like the deserts and things, you probably enjoy that, you know, better than the cities and the labs. Uh, Biotechnology, a huge range of stuff, all sorts of new novel compounds, antibiotics, uh, um, syntheses of different things put in together, and they usually use microorganisms, so they need a microbiologist. 
And then there's research using these very fast growing organisms with relatively simple um, um, genomes to produce all sorts of things. They're now into genomic synthesis, trying to make whole genomes of bacteria to do exactly what uh, we want them to do. Uh, so there's a lot of as aspects here you can end up, or even the knowledge of it in your future careers. So the people that work in state government departments, they don't work at a bench, they don't look down a microscope, but they need to know what's going on, read information and be able to advise the politicians whether that makes any difference or not. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so some of the courses that might ring a bell with you guys. Uh, this is where micro is a core subject. You get it in the first year. Uh, if you want to go on and do uh, some more later on, you'll have chances later on. So I do first year microbiology, MCA 101, which is a core course for most students. I do some uh, food microbiology in second year, and I do clinical bacteriology in third year. So you might catch me in more than one year, depending on, depending on your course. Uh, just some examples here, so here's yogurt, you buy yogurt, most people eat yogurt. I have yogurt every morning. You expect it to be naturally produced. You could produce it chemically, but it's nice to have it produced naturally. If you look under the microscope, you see it's full of bacteria. And if you look at the packet, which you all do on the back of the packet, uh, it says how, how many different sorts of bacteria, the numbers and the types. Well, somebody's got to actually do that. They've got to put in the right numbers and they've got to make sure it's only those and nothing else. You don't want anything else contaminating your yogurt. Probably a bit dangerous. Uh, so that's, that's, there's jobs there. Okay? That's the quality control and making sure that you're not killing people when you sell them something. And here's something that's in the news at the moment. If you buy your uh, frozen berries, which are being imported from somewhere else in the world, you can't guarantee that they're not contaminated with pathogenic microorganisms. In this case, it's a, do I say it? Do you know what the organism is, a bacterium or a virus? It's a virus, good. <laughs> so uh, it's a human virus, so it's been, these berries have been contaminated with fecal material, human fecal material. Huh. What can you say? Wow, that's where you need good people to decide whether the food's up to quality, and you need a good microbiologist for that. Uh, locally, if you go to the lake, I think it's still looking like this at the moment. Uh, uh, somebody tells me it's been pretty dry. Uh, so when uh, Albert Lake, the other side of Wagga, gets uh, a bit low, a bit, uh, it has these blooms of green algae. So you don't drink the water there because these guys, if you look under the microscope, absolutely beautiful guys. Really, really nice. They've got gas vesicles and some chlorophyll in there, and they produce a toxin. They wipe out your liver if you eat too many. So this is an environmental one. Wagga has to send this off to an environmental testing laboratory. I don't know what the cost is, but we all pay it as part of our rates. See, so there's, there's work money there. Good. The big micro labs, this is one in London. You can see these guys and all the machines. So it's, it's now becoming heavily automated. There's quite a bit of statistics involved as well. <laughs> and working out um, uh, epidemi epidemiology and cases and so forth. Uh, yep, so you could end up in one of these labs. These guys were looking at the, uh, the time of the Olympics and they're trying to make sure that the, um, the athlete's village was clean and no athletes got it. There weren't outbreaks of diseases at the wrong time, which would wipe out the UK chances. Mm -hmm. And I'll pass this one. It's mycology, which is fungi as well. Uh, this is a common one. Tinea between the, if you go to the, the doctor or something, you might take some scrapings, send it off, and they grow it up and you get this nice little fungal mycelium growing up there that can identify it. Uh, virology, we don't do much of here, uh, but the, the major uh, capital cities, they all have virology laboratories. And this profession can take you over the world, anywhere. We've got some, uh, Australia's got one of the best high security laboratories uh, in the world. That's Jan and Geelong, but you wouldn't know about it. But uh, if you want to work your way up to uh, the most dangerous diseases, the Lysivirus or something, um, you can work there as well in the space suits and all the rest of it. And if you don't believe me about jobs, you've all got to, uh, you've all applied to, to get the seek website job ads because they come out every day. So here's just some examples. Um, a lot of them in, in uh, food, but this one's, what's this one? Um, this is an academic one. This is a medical diagnostic one. This is a pharmaceutical company. They all have to have them. You have to make sure that the antibiotics and preparations are sterile when they go in. Has to be checked. 
Here's one at a cancer institute looking at tuberculosis. That's one in Sydney. Uh, here's a quality, quality control one at a food and beverage place. They all have to have them. And here's one in a uh, um, dairy, dairy services. Uh, we export stuff all around the world. You have to make sure it's, it's clean. I think that's about it. So I'm